Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. So nice to see you all, everybody here. Um, so hi, hi, Vicky, hello. So uh, my name is Nelly, and I'm from the BNJC that uh, uh, we are putting this event today as a part of our Eco Kids series. Um, and I'm just saying to everybody that this uh, is recorded, but if you don't want to have your kids um, recorded or visible, so you can always take the camera off. But when we are doing the editing, we take the kids out anyway, so don't worry about that. Um, so we're gonna have loads of fun, everybody. It's gonna be awesome. And you are welcome to, to, um, to, be, to have the video again, I'm saying, because uh, it's much more fun to see each other and we're not, we're going to use the recording only of the adults that are participating. So you don't need to worry about it. But if you do, of course, you have the option. So um, before I'm handing it to Bethan from Todos Teatro, that's gonna teach us some awesome puppet making from recycling things. I wanna say that we got us inspired to do this from Joseph. Do you know Joseph? Thumbs up if you know Joseph and what he did with the, you don't know him? You didn't hear about him? Seriously? Oh my goodness. So uh, we're going to talk about Joseph after you do the puppets. I'm not gonna talk about him. I'm gonna show you a short video about him and what he did and how he inspired us to do this um, workshop. So that will be at the end. And now Bethan from Todos Teatro, um welcome hi uh, yes, the stage is yours thank you good to see you all thanks the njc for having us today um wow we've got people joining from all over um got people joining from india which is super exciting um welcome so today um we're going to be making puppets out of rubbish and then I'm also gonna do some games with you and teach you how to use your pocket puppets, I can't talk today, um, to bring the puppets that you've made to life because a puppet is, some, um, is something that is not real, it's a puppet, but we want to make it look real and we want to make it come alive. So can you give me a wave? Can you give me a wave? If you've seen a puppet before, have you seen a puppet before? And if you've got your camera off, that's fine. You can give me like one of the little reactions. So you've seen, so, lots of you have seen puppets before, that's cool. If you haven't, don't you worry. So my name is Bethan. Oh yeah, cool thumbs up from Aaron and Deshaun and Jasmine. In Trinidad, oh my goodness, so cool. What a global group, I love it. Welcome. Um, so I'm gonna show you some of my puppets um, and then I will show you how to make a puppet of your own. Um, and we're going to be making under underwater puppets. So uh, puppets of things that live underwater. So I'll show you some of mine and then we'll make our own. So. Get the video back on. Hi, Bonnie. So this, now, this is a turtle puppet, as you can see. We're not going to be making anything as complicated as this, but this is a turtle that we use in our shows. She's made of old jackets. She's, her head is made of clay. And I think that she looks really lifelike, if you agree. Um, but she's made of all recycled materials. That's what we like to do with Todos Teatro. I'll show you another puppet and I'll let you meet the turtle later on. Another puppet I've got for you to show you is this guy. So this one's a seagull. And does anyone wanna pop in the chat? Um, what you think this seagull is made from. It's made from recycled materials again, it's made from rubbish. But what, what do you think um, we use to make this seagull? You can either give us a wave if you want to be unmuted or you can put in the chat if you prefer that. Oh, I think Ori's got some ideas. Nelly, could you unmute Ori for me? Okay, or, uh, hi Ori. I think it's made out of maybe a cleaning bottle. From... It is, it's made out of some toilet duck. So it's a cleaning thing. We had to wash it very carefully. And what do you think the wings are made of? Yeah, toilet duck, Polly's got it, well done. Um, and what do you think the wings are made of? Um, feathers for the, at the end, but. Yeah, 
The feathers, well, it looks like feathers, but it's actually plastic bags. What oh. do you think the wings are made from? Anyone else got an idea? Want to give me a wave or let me know in the chat? Probably plastic. Yep, plastic. You are right. It's actually made of, if you can see, it's actually made of a bit of coat hanger. So we made some wings for this funny seagull out of coat hangers. And, prob and some plastic. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. But and coat hangers are usually made of plastic. They're normally made. Sometimes they're metal, sometimes they're wood, but you're right, they are often made of plastic. Well done. And this is another one. This is a bit of a crazier puppet. I'm not sure. This doesn't really look like a real animal, but it's kind of like an eel, a sea snake, something like that. What do you can you see the tongue? What do you think the tongue is made from? You can pop oh. it in the chat or give me away. James, yes, can you unmute James for me, Nelly? Oh. A fork, yeah, like a, a disposable oh. fork. Well done, James, very well observed. A very old fork that's a probably been fork. in existence like since 1997. Maybe not that old, but um, it, it is an old fork, that's true. A spork, yes, Jessica, well done. What about on the back? What can you see on the back of this creature? That's a rubber glove. Exactly, it's a rubber glove. So we've got some rubber, yeah, Aaron's got it too, well done. So this is this crazy eel thing that we've made. Meaning rubber gloves. That's right, Polly, it's a rubber glove. Um, nice, everyone. So this is another one I'm gonna show you. This is a jellyfish. What do you think this jellyfish is made from? Yeah, Jake, what do you think? Yes, plastic bags. A few of you have said it. Well done. Bags. Yes, bags. Well done. Well done. Yeah, plastic bags. They're like tentacly things, the plastic bags. The top bit. Yes, well done, Ori, as well. It's a plastic bag. You're right. You're all so clever. You're so fast today. Um, and Ori says a bowl. Yeah, I think this is like, kind of looks like a bowl, but I, I think, I made this one a while ago. This, I think, was like the top of um, like a milkshake cup. Milk. Yes, yeah, 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 Deshaun, Jasmine, well done. Yeah, it's like a milkshake top, well done. Um, which I then painted that and uh, yeah, so that's that one. So I think today I'm gonna show you how to make a jellyfish like this one. So I'll show you step by step how to make this jellyfish or something similar, but I wanted to show you my other puppets because Basically, I know whatever you've got at home might be quite different. So if you've got a bottle that you think looks a bit like a fish, you can do that. Yeah, Ori's got a bottle, so you can do what you like. Whatever rubbish you've got, you can make into something. James has got a bottle too. Um, so just to check, we've got everything we need. You will need some plastic rubbish. Plastic bags are quite good. I've got some bubble wrap. Can you show me your plastic bags and your plastic rubbish that you've got? Lovely, Ori, well done. Deshaun and Jasmine, looking good. Oh, Ori, that's some lovely shiny blue thing. James has got some plastic, Elijah's got a nice green one. I have nothing to make this, basically. Could you find something in your house? Even if it's not plastic, it's okay. Like something paper can do. Have a look, have a look. See what you can find. What about... Nice, Ori, there's some good, they're good um, This? This yeah, that will do. Any anything will do. So if you've got like this lump of stuff, that works. Plastic stuff. Old Jess, garbage. Jess, would be all that nice colourful bag. James, I like the netting you've no. got. No, I think we're using the trash bin. That's fine. That's fine. As long as it's clean enough, that's fine. <laughs> James has got a bowl. That's good. Ori's got like plastic jewels. Nice. So the most important thing for this one is that you can use things that you've already got. We're trying to reuse things. So we don't throw it in the bin. So the best thing is to use stuff that we've already got at home. So we're not going out and buying new things. So everyone's gonna have different stuff. Elijah, nice, that cup is perfect as well. So I've got my plastic bags and what I can find at home is these two, um, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use. I've got this little plastic tub and this one, which I think had some strawberries in it. So, you, but you can use bottles. I see you've got bottles. Um, you can use a little bowl, you can use whatever you've got, anything can work, it's all good. Um, so depending on how old you are, for some bits we might need, definitely need grown up help because plastic is quite difficult to cut, but I'm sure you'll all be fine. 
Okay, so we've got all our stuff ready. Oh, you'll also need some scissors and some tape of some kind. Um, yeah, nice, Ori is all ready. That's great. Brilliant. Um, some tape, if you've got like masking tape or different kinds of tape, that's fine. If you've got any other like bottle caps or lids and you want to use those to stick on your creature, it's all good. You can use whatever you like. Um, I've also got some of these, they're like marker pens and paint pens. Um, not all pens and paints work on plastic, it's quite difficult. I've got these already, so I'm using these, but if you don't have anything like this, don't worry, you can stick lots of bits of plastic, you can use your plastic jewels, whatever you've got, you can use. I've just got these plastic, um, uh, sorry, these paint pens. They work very nicely on plastic, but if you don't have anything like this or like a Sharpie or marker pen, it doesn't matter either. We're all ready to go. For starters, take your, um, your bottle or your bowl or whatever you're using. So like I said, I'm gonna show you how to make something a bit, but they're all gonna look different because we've all got different rubbish. Jellyfishy, so take the top bit of your jellyfish. Um, if, you want, if you've got Ori and James, you've got bottles, so you can make those into fish if you want, and I'll tell you how, or if you want, you can cut the end off the bottle, maybe with some adults help because it's quite difficult. So maybe get your grown ups to help you. And uh, you can cut the bottom off the bottle and use that. Or if you want to make a fish, then you can do that and I will tell you how. Yes, that looks, yeah, yeah, Ori, that's the one, that's the one. James, yeah, that's good, that works. You can use that one if you want. That's a great top of a jellyfish. Nice. Cool. So um, I'm going to start. Um, mm, 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 I think let's put on our tentacles first. So if you're making jellyfish, but like I say, if you want to do something else, if you've got any questions, let me know. You can let your imagination run off. Yes, hello. How you let we have to do cut off the top of the bottom? Yeah, so if you if you want to make a jellyfish, I would cut the um the like top bit of the bottle. Um so I don't have a bottle here now. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. So say you were using this as a bottle, you could just snip this bit. Yeah, yeah, that works, Ori. Or if you want to use the top bit, um, that's also fine, um, depending on what you want your jellyfish to look like. Ori, that looks good. Aaron, you've made a sea cucumber out of paper. Yeah, let's have a look, Aaron. Love, oh yeah. Very nice, very nice. So now, now you've got your top bit. Um, what you can also do if you want to make a fish, what you can do is you can squash your bottle and then you can cut um, like a fin out of the top and you can make it into a fish shape if you squash the bottle first. Um, it's a bit more tricky, but you can certainly do that. Okay. So next, take your plastic bag or your plastic rubbish of some kind and using your scissors cut some strips and these are like the you can make these into like the tentacles of the jellyfish so i've got some with bubble wrap and some with a plastic bag if you want to make a fish or a slightly different animal you can just cut whatever you want out of plastic bags that's all good i've got straws straws yes yeah, straws are good you can use straws if you want absolutely oh I've nice this apron Oh, who said, can you say that again? I've got this apron piece. Ah, uh, yes, that works, that works. So whatever you've got, if you're making a jellyfish, you'll need quite a lot of these. So cut quite a lot of strips um, like this of your, from your plastic bag. So you can make thicker ones and thin ones. And if you're doing a fish or some other creature, you can do the same thing. Just cut it into different shapes. Um, lots of fish have do, do have like lots of floaty bits and fins, so you can um, cut out shapes and stick them on in that way. But if I'm doing a jellyfish, so I'm cutting lots of strips like this. Nice, yes, perfect. 
Perfect. And what you can also do is you can make it look like a real sea creature. You can make it like this one. Um, I can't remember what kind of jellyfish it is, but it, 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 there is a jellyfish that looks similar to this. But then you can also just make one that's really crazy and has a different pattern on it and looks quite silly. It doesn't matter. It can be realistic or not. I don't mind. So what you should have my paints. You've got your paints. Amazing. We will get we will need those very soon. I got black, dark blue, a gross yellow color, a weird dark green, and red. I couldn't find a gross dark or like red and black mixed together slightly. You could try mixing them. I I don't know what you mean about the gross yellow. It's okay not to like the um yellow color. No, and I'm trying to make it pretty much pretty dark and stuff mm -hmm. that's a good idea james those strips look good as well perfect so we need lots of those and maybe even paint squares on them to for it to be a minecraft jellyfish you can know they minecraft haven't jellyfish. added those yet you can definitely do a minecraft jellyfish if you want i don't mind at all uh nice to sean jasmine you're looking very busy there james amazing a lion's mane jelly. Oh, I'm going to have to look up what they look like. That's a great idea, Jess and Jamil. Ori, amazing. You've got lots already. Wow. I'm going to make the jelly look, the jellyfish look like a crackle. Ah. Like a <laughs> okay. Jammed level. If I don't unjam it, well. You're probably going to lose me forever. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. So like keep it's going to like explosion thing. I, I'm sure you'll be absolutely fine. I think Ori <laughs> has a question. Go ahead, Ori. How many strips do you need? It sort of depends on how big your, um, like your other bit of rubbish is. I'll show you how much I've got. I've got this and this. Let's have a look. Basically, oh. we're all doomed. I think well, you'll need a little bit more. It'll just yeah. a computer, but I've I'll got... be fine. Oh. Oh. That looks good. I think a few more, Ori, but you're definitely on the way. Mummy's um... cutting them out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I don't know if a lot of you have got um, nice uh, parent assistance helping you there create your works of art. This is what I've got. I've got quite a few. Maybe some of them touch, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to speak. Good work, everyone. These are looking good. So what you can start doing if you've got some um, of your strips cut out, but don't worry if I'm if you if you're if you need more time, take time. I'm just letting um, you know so that if people have already finished, they can move on. But we've got plenty of time today. We've got lots of time, so don't rush at all. We've got lots of time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my tape um, to stick these strips to the inside of my jellyfish head. I don't know if it counts as a head if it's a jellyfish because I don't think they have brains, but anyway, you know what I mean. So I'm gonna stick, make sure I'm sticking them on the inside. So my tape's there and I'm sticking it on the inside. So you can start to do that with your jellyfish. That's a good one, Eli oh no. You, that looks like seaweed, Elijah. James, that looks good. Yes, brilliant. Oh, Ori, so you're going to need a lot of strips because you've got a big container, but that's all right. Yes, that's it. Amazing. Good work, everyone. You could do some strips that are very thin. Some that are thicker, that looks nice as well. So 
Sea jellies don't have lungs, a brain or a heart. Yes, that's true. And I think, aren't they made, but I feel like Jess and Jamil, you are experts, so you probably know better than me. I think they're made of like 99% water or something like that. They're basically just water. Um, you all right, James? Um, well, jellyfish don't have exoskeletons like crabs and stuff. They are just like they don't have bones on the inside and they don't have exoskeletons. Yeah, that's an exoskeleton. That's a great word. Well done, James. Yeah, they're just, um, that's, I guess that's what makes 95%. Thank you, Jess and Jamil, for the correction. So, nine um jellyfish are 95 percent water and as james says they don't have exoskeletons so that's like something hard on the outside like a crab they don't have that and they don't have skeletons on the inside of their bodies like we do like humans do so i'm getting started sticking these in my jellyfish um something else you could try is um the same as a cucumber that is amazing that's a great fact. I'm going to remember that one. Jess and Jamil, you are a fountain of knowledge. If anyone else has got any good jellyfish or sea creature facts in general, pop them in the chat or give me a wave and we'll unmute you. Amazing. Cool. So another thing you can try that I think looks really cool is if you're using a plastic bag. Oh, nice, Ori. Very cool. Nice is if you take your plastic bag here, if you like, if it's quite thick plastic like this one, you can stretch it with your, between your two thumbs like this. And it makes this like cool wiggly effect. I don't know how to describe it. But I think it looks quite nice and looks like, so it looks more, kind of looks like that. So you can do something like that if you want. So you're taking the strip of plastic and then you're just sort of pulling it, um, pulling it just gently with between your two thumbs and it makes this cool. I'm using, pa I'm using paper. You're using paper? That works too. So look what I did. I crumpled it. You crumpled it. That's a great idea. Yeah, if you're using paper or something else, you can crumple it and that gives a really cool effect as well. Nice one. Good idea. Ori, wow, you're very speedy. Very good. <laughs> I can see your mum is helping you there. Very nice. I know I'm much slower. I've just got my, I've only got myself here. So I'm uh, maybe I'll be behind all of you guys. Wow. Well, I think I need some more plastic on mine. That's all right, Jess and Jamil, if you're still cut chopping up, that's absolutely fine. We've got plenty of time, don't you worry. So we're going to make our puppets and then I'm going to do some more games, with a lot of moving around. And um, I will show you how to make your puppet look like a real jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sporty. If I'm pronouncing your name correctly, or anyone's name incorrectly, please correct me. Um, great going, kids. You are all amazing. I, I really agree. So does anyone else have any good um, sea creature facts that they've learned? Um, I Did you see recently, this is one I've Wow, James, that looks great. Did you hear about the man who in the um, in, in the US, in the USA, who went in a whale's mouth? I live in Canada. Was it Canada? Oh, sorry. Well, anyway. No, no, it, it was probably in America because I've never heard of it. I live in Canada. You live in Canada. Oh my goodness, we've got such a cool international group. It's amazing. Um, yeah, I think it was in, I want to say Massachusetts, but I could be wrong. But yeah, there was a... a um, a man who was a lobster fisherman and he um, was in the water and then he, all of a sudden he was like, whoa, 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 where am I? Everything's gone very dark. And he was in a humpback whale's mouth. And he was like, oh my goodness, what's going to happen to me? I f he figured out he was in a whale's mouth. 
And he was like, oh my goodness, is this whale going to eat me? Um, whales don't usually eat people, I'm pretty sure. They don't. Well, this is the thing, because humpback whales, they actually don't eat very big animals. They actually only eat um, like small little fish. So um, their throat can only swallow something as big as a watermelon, which when you're a massive whale is actually quite small. So the whale spat him out. And then he got back on his boat and was fine. Isn't that crazy? Whales eat krill and plankton. That is right. Yes, isn't it crazy how... And other fishes sometimes. Other fish. It is so interesting, isn't it, that these whales that are so massive, like blue Is it sharks? Because here's this. Inside, inside, a, inside a mother shark, the babies, here's this, they don't get fed inside there. They just eat one of them... The strongest always has eats every single one. Oh my goodness! They eat so the, each other. So the shark shark is not very accurate then. Yeah, Ooh. but the and only one ever gets born. Oh wow! They get like hunt. They get like twenty or thirty. Oh my goodness! And then the other baby sharks eat the other ones. Oh my goodness! Um, Nelly, I think you wanted to say something then. Hi, yes, yes, hi. I wanted to say that it reminds me of uh, of uh, Jonah, of jo uh, Jonah. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. That uh, was sw swallowed in a whale for a few days. Yeah, so I know. I, I, I saw that in the paper and everyone was comparing it to the story of Jonah. But it was real life and he was like on TV, like talking about it after, like, yeah. Didn't know what was going to happen and this whale just spat me out. And it's just... Uh, Super interesting. We saw, the, we saw him on the news and he was talking from hospital. Um, but because he had his breathing apparatus with him, he was fine. But uh, I think just for 30 seconds, I think he was inside the mouth. That's what we read about. Yeah. Quite a long time. It is a long time to be in a whale's mouth. I would not want to be in a whale's mouth for 30 seconds. So that's mine. I think a lot of you are being very speedy, but we've got plenty of time. That's how mine is looking. Wow, Ori, that's brilliant. How are you getting on to Sean and Jasmine? I'm doing oh, half. Doing I'm half doing that. half a jellyfish. Good. The other half is just for because it's a decoration. Not a All good. It's so I can do this. So I can do this without any strings in the way. That's fine. That looks good. And to Sean and Jasmine, yours looks like it's going very nicely, and James as well. Beautiful. Oh, Aaron, look, I used a push down and turn bottle cap. Nice. Very creative, Bonnie. And Aaron, I love your sea cucumber. Mine isn't finished. That's all right. We've got plenty of time. No rush at all. No I'm rush. ready to paint mine. You're ready to, so if you are, if you've got paints or pens, and don't worry if you don't have them, you can still make an amazing sea creature. So you can get started if you want to... Um, to paint and draw on if you've because got- Because I don't have help anymore. You don't have help anymore? Oh my goodness. Don't worry, I'm, Elijah. I don't have help anymore. I'm sure you'll be fine. We've got plenty of time. Don't worry, Elijah. So I've still got more sticking to do, but if you've got paint or mark pens or something that does draw on plastic, you can start to um, draw your patterns on this jellyfish, I did like this sort of dots, but Bonnie's doing a Minecraft jellyfish and that is fine. So you can do whatever you want. I've seen jellyfish with love hearts on, with flowers on, with happy faces, with whatever you want. Wow, Deshaun and Jasmine, they're, they're looking good. Good work. Oh, is that for you what I mean? Ah. All I need to do is stick this one. Huh? Wow. I love how long the tentacles are you've got on them. That's brilliant. Are you allowed to put spots on them? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you've got like. Yeah, totally. You can put whatever you want. So I think that will look really cool, the shiny. Oh, wow. That's going to look amazing. <laughs> yes, great idea, Ori. I love those. I wish I had some of those at home. <laughs> They'll look really cool. It will like, look like shiny fish scales in a way. Very nice. Yeah. 
that's a great idea. Aaron, yes, Aaron you, and uh, uh, hello. So we have um, YT joining us. Hello. Um, can you change your name? So it's your your name. If you don't want to put your camera on, that's fine. Um, but we are just making um, our jellyfish puppets. So we're using a um, like a, the end of a bottle works well, or like a plastic tub of some kind or a lid like this. And then we're sticking strips of plastic. Wow, Ori, that is a brilliant one. Um, on the, like underneath to make the tentacles. And then we're gonna also paint the top bit with, if you've got marker pens or paint pens or anything. If you don't have those, don't worry. You can do what some of the, the rest of them are doing um, where they're sticking on like, uh shiny things or sequins or shiny paper um, um why do, why why do you say brilliant so much huh. oh, we just lost them again and yes oh, it's Aaron, brilliant. Um, oh it's brilliant. they're looking great wow good work and Aaron as well is very knowledgeable. It's so cute. so you, we've seen your sea cucumber, Aaron. And jellyfish are invertebrates and have Mom no likes to well see done. awesome and excellent all the time. Wow! How are you getting on, Elijah? That looks great. My mommy likes to see awesome and excellent all the time. I'm getting there with my tentacles, but I've still got a few. There's a bit of a gap on one side, so I'm going to stick a couple more on. Orange ones on. Oh wow, James, that looks great. And oh, Deshaun and Jasmine. Nice colours, everyone. Oh wow. What a cool stripy jellyfish. Very good. James, your jellyfish matches your t-shirt as well. Very nice. Great, everyone. I'm so excited. We've got such a cool international group here. We've got um, we've got people from India, from Trinidad. We've got um, Bonnie is in Canada, um, from the UK. Where is everyone else from? And I'm in I'm in the UK. I'm in London. But um, so cool to have everyone coming from all over. My the world. aunt's in London. Oh, you're in London. Oh, well, we're neighbours then, aren't we? <laughs> so we've got people for uh, Polly's in Derbyshire in the UK. Aaron is in the UK, but was born in China. Very nice, everyone. Very nice.
right. Okay. How is everyone getting on? Right. Oh, nice. Nice, Jess and Jamil. Love the, oh, you've got Sainsbury's bag as well. Is that right? I recognize that color orange. That looks great. I'm gonna also use a sugar for some black. Oh, that's a good one. That, that yellow and orange will look really nice together. Brilliant. Aaron's sea cucumber is yellow, white now. Ooh, very nice. I like the labeling. That's very cool. Very cool. Very creative. <laughs> so, um, we're going to take a five minute break now if you've got um if you've got some finishing off to do you can finish off your puppet um but we're going to take a five minute break um so we'll be back at uh 4 50 so five minutes and have a drink of water um if you need to finish off your puppet you can finish off your puppet if your puppet is not 100 percent, if it's not totally finished don't you worry you can always finish it off it will be good enough for what we need to do after the games we're going to play. So um, take a five minute break. I'll be here. If you've got any questions, ask me questions and show me your puppets. Um, and um, you can yeah, finish off your puppet or finish it off after the session. Um, maybe go to the toilet, have a drink, get ready for the next part of the workshop. So I will see you in five minutes. If you want to disappear and come back, that's fine. Um, and we will get started with some games. Cool, so I'll see you in five minutes, everyone, but feel free to stick, oh, Ori, very nice. Wow, that looks great, everyone. Almost finished. It's almost finished. If it's not finished, it's okay. Um, you can use your this break time to finish off or if you've got a long way to go, you've got a very ambitious plans and you've got a lot you want to do, that's fine. Um, you can always put the finishing touches to it after the workshop and it will be totally fine to do the games with and, and I can teach you things with it anyway. So don't worry if it's not completely finished, it's fine. It's break time, man. Yeah, so come back in five minutes. I was have a break, and um, then we'll get started with some games. We'll do some moving okay. around. Um, um, so we're having, we're not going to make another puppet, but I'm going to um, show you how to be a real puppeteer. So I'm going to show you some games and some exercises after the break. Okay, so take five minutes, and then I'm going to show you how you can make your jellyfish, uh, your puppet, uh, come to life. Okay. Yeah, and then and then we'll we'll also see the Joseph. Yes, we've got the video at the end as well. Oh my goodness, mm -hmm. Jess and Jamil, a book about jellyfish. What are some of your jellyfish facts from your book? Um, so this is um, the lion's main jelly, the one with the angry face. <laughs> okay. Um, this is my book. Where I found it. Oh wow, that's such a cool book. It's so colourful. I like it. I got it from my school's book fair. Ah, uh, that looks, the lion's mane jellyfish looks a bit like this one, doesn't it? I wonder if it's the same, the orange one. It might be. It might be, yeah. I'll have to look. I really like the cat in the background. I see a cat. Yes, Elijah, we're, we're looking at your cat. Wow, James, so colourful. Oh. 
Lovely. So if you need to put some finishing touches to your puppet, you can do. If you're worried that it's not finished, it's okay. You can finish it after the session and make it look really amazing. Um, but in a couple of minutes, we're going to do some games and I will teach you how to be real puppeteers and how to make your puppets come alive and everyone will think there's a real jellyfish swimming around the room. Wow, amazing James, so colourful, brilliant. And I think it's so cool that you're all using stuff that you've just got at home. Just shows we don't need to go and buy new things to make stuff, you can just use whatever you've got at home. And I think that's really cool. Nice one, Jess and Jamil. Um, I've just finished the tentacles, now I need to do the top bit. Oh, okay. So if you've not finished painting the top bit, it's all right. You can do it um, after, but because yours is perfect for the games we need to do, even if it's not painted, it's still going to work. So don't worry. I'm just going to use my tropic sunbag now. Oh, okay, good idea. I like the colour of that tropical sunbag. Very cool. Oh, nice, Deshaun and Jasmine. I like how it's got so many tentacles. It's got a little head. It's lovely, so pretty. Good work, you two, good work. Nice. Very cool. Well done, Ori, as well. James, Elijah's got a telescope. Oh, it's got a little face as well. Very sweet, I like it. Yes, you can definitely, if you want to add a face to your jellyfish, if you want it to look a bit human, that is fine. If you want to make it look very, very like a real jellyfish, that's also fine. It's all good. Nice. <laughs> Great, okay. So I'm going to give it another 30 seconds and then we're going to play a game. Nice. Okay, so do we have everyone with us? So do we have um, Bonnie and Aaron and everyone back? Cool. Um, so for this game, we don't need our puppets, but we're going to use our puppets very soon. So put your puppet down. And if it's not finished, don't worry. You can, that's a nice sea cucumber, Aaron, very good. <clears throat> okay, so put your puppet down and as quickly as you can, I want you to touch something in the room that you're in that is yellow. Can you find something in the room that is yellow and touch it? You don't have to show it if you've disappeared, that's fine. Yes. And as quickly as you can, can you find something in the room that is red? Can you find and touch something red? Nice. 
Can you find something in the room that is blue? Very good, very good. Something that is blue. Yes, brilliant, brilliant. Can you find something in the room that is green? Yeah, good, everyone. Green, nice. And can you find something in the room that is, mm, that is gray? <laughs> something that is gray, well done. Can you find something in the room that is orange? Good work, everyone. And lastly, can you find something in the room that is purple? Excellent. Okay. And I'm going to do one more because it's just funny watching everyone around. Can you find something in the room that is pink? Great. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, very nice. Very nice. So we're going to do another game where we don't need our puppets, but we will use our puppets very soon. So this is a game that's going to really help us be good puppeteers. So it's, um, it's, a, it's a game called uh, Red Ball, Yellow Ball. Okay, so I'm going, I've got an invisible red ball here in my hands and I'm going to pass it to someone. Um, so if you don't have your camera, put, if, if you can put your camera on, that's great. If you can't put your camera on, that's fine. We'll make it work. <laughs> so I'm going to say someone's name and I'm going to pass them this red ball. So I'm going to say red ball to Ori. I'm going to throw it and Ori, you're going to catch it. And if you go on, um, unmute yourself, Ori. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to say red ball and then you're going to say two and then someone's name on screen. Um, red ball, let me call someone. Red ball to James. <laughs> red ball to... If you're not sure, you can pass it back to me. That's also fine. Okay. Red ball to Polly. Red ball to Polly. We can't hear you, Polly. Red to Polly. <laughs> Yellow ball to Jess and Jamil. Did you catch it? Yep. <laughs> to Elijah. Oh. <laughs> Red ball to no. Aaron is ready to. Oh, who's that? Red ball to Nelly. Nelly. Red ball to Nelly. Oh, well done, Nelly. <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this is a tricky red ball here. <laughs> red ball to Aaron. Good catch, Aaron. Red ball to. Money. Another one. Thank you. Oh, it's gone yellow. A yellow one to James. Uh, yeah. Red one to Elijah. Red one to Elijah. Oh, I think to Elijah's cat. Red yeah. ball to <laughs> Bethan. Thank you. Okay. Brilliant, everyone. So this time we're going to make it a little bit harder because I think you're so good at that game that we can make it a bit harder. So this time it's, um, ah, so Jasmine and Deshaun, I think you dropped out then, but it's all right. We're playing a game where I've got an invisible red ball here. It's an invisible red ball and I'm going to throw it to someone. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to, um, Throw it to someone and then you can throw it back to me, whoever I throw it to, okay? Just so Deshaun and Jasmine can see, okay? So, red ball to Ori. Red ball to Ori. 
So, and then Ori's going to throw the ball back to me, um, just as an example. But this time... Oh, no, going... my... Oh, no, the glitter. The glitter fell down. Oh, no, that's going to make a big mess. <laughs> but it was only a little bit. Oh, but glitter's a mess, though, isn't it? Whenever it falls on the ground, it gets everywhere. <laughs> Not everywhere. I didn't make a mess. That's good. Um, so I've got my big red ball here, but this time, everyone, the red ball is on the paper. We can clean it up after. So this time, the red ball is really heavy. So when I throw the ball, I'm going to imagine that my invisible ball is really heavy. So maybe I have to throw it like, oh, because it's really heavy. And when you catch the red ball, You've got to imagine you're catching a really heavy ball. So let's all practice that before we play the game. I want you to imagine that there's a ball falling here and you've got to catch it, but it's super heavy, okay? So try and catch the ball now and it's really heavy. Oh my goodness, really good everyone. Really good, it definitely looks very heavy. Okay, so let's try again. We're passing it around, but this time the red ball is super, super heavy, okay? Okay, Whew. heavy, red ball, two, Nelly, oh. <laughs> you squashed her. Oh no, it squashed her. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to throw it to Nelly? No. To Bonnie. Bonnie, we're throwing the red ball. You need to catch it. Oh, great big no. one. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Bonnie, who are you going to throw it to to say someone's name? I'm being, um, I already broke my arms. Oh my goodness. Oh my so I'm goodness. just going to headbutt it um, to somebody else. I'm going to throw headbutt. I'm going to act, I'm going to throw a refrigerator. <laughs> okay, it's still somebody. a heavy red ball, but you can throw a refrigerator, but you're catching a heavy red ball. Who are you going to throw it to, Bonnie? Um you but i'm throwing it at somebody okay, not to okay. somebody you just got hit by a refrigerator okay I've got oh. you have to go all the way to the why why <laughs> i've got it i've got it thanks bonnie so i'm gonna throw this really heavy thing to uh to just jamil oh. i'm allowed to do it idea is not to try to Oh. Okay, I'm up. Uh, I throw the ball. Who are you going to send it to? It's not supposed to be painful. It's invisible and pretend. Polly. <coughs> Polly, there you go. Oh, Polly. me again. And it's really hard for me because I'm old. <laughs> and a red ball to James. Oh, that was heavy. Well done, James. Oh, that's a big one. Throw it to Nelly. Nelly again. Hi. Oh, Nelly. Cool. <laughs> All right. Throw it back I to can me, make Nelly. it disappear. <laughs> Want to see? May I have a turn? Oh, it's gone. Oh, wow. Well done, Nelly. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so now we've had a practice, so um, that's like imagining something and then bringing it to life. said your name several times earlier. Okay, okay, no. Are you, are you um, okay, so now I would like you to take your puppets and I'm going to show you how to be professional, real puppeteers or actors and bring these puppets to life. So... Uh, can you hold up your puppet to the camera? Okay, looking good, everyone. Can you hold your puppet to the camera? Um, okay, so I want your puppet to, um, imagine it's swimming around the room. So just take your puppet for a swim. Take your puppet for a swim around the room. Imagine it's a jellyfish and they, they're quite, they move quite slowly. So your your jellyfish is slowly bobbing. Um, was I was I blurry before? No, I think you. I can see you well now, Bonnie. I can see you. So take your jellyfish for a swim.
Yes, Ori, is that a question? Um, it's not really a question, but um, my dad got bitten by a jellyfish once. <gasps> Oh my goodness, that's uh, we, can, we need to be careful with these ones then, but I don't think these plastic jellyfish sting, fingers crossed. Um, all right, brilliant. Now, something that you can use to make your puppet look really alive is if you hold your puppet and um, when you're swimming your puppet around the room, keep your eyes on the puppet. So instead of looking out to the camera, because then people's eyes are looking at your eyes. Whereas if your eyes are looking at the puppet, then the people watching are looking at the puppet and not at you. So have another swim around the room with your puppet, but this time keeping your eyes on the puppet. Your eyes are following the puppet like this. Have a go at that. So your eyes are watching the puppet as it swims around. Your eyes watch the puppet. <laughs> okay. So it's swimming around the room and your eyes are watching the puppet. Nice, Jess and Jamil looks really good, really focused. Well done, James and Ori. Wow, that looks so real already. Really good. And that's really important because if your eyes are looking at the puppet, then it means the people watching are looking at the puppet and not at you. Because when we're doing puppets, we want people to be watching the puppet. Yes, Jess and Jamil, do you have a question? Uh Lion mane jelly can sting after death. <gasps> oh my goodness. So we need to be careful with this one. Yes. <laughs> wow. Okay. So we'll, maybe you, your jellyfish can go and sting people if you're feeling mean. Brilliant, everyone. So keep swimming it around the room. Looking great. And can you... Swim your puppet really high. Can you try swimming it above your head, keeping your eyes on it the whole time? Brilliant. So you're swimming it nice and high. And can you swim your puppet very low? Can you swim it low? So try and go towards the floor. Really good, everyone. These are looking, these are coming alive. Really good. So you'll go try and go from high to low. And and down. Down. So it's up and down. You can get right. No clay. Okay, so you're swimming up a bit around. You're looking at it and you're going high and low. Try that. And if you want, you can also have a look at the screen and see what other people are doing because sometimes you might get some ideas from watching someone else. That's what being a good audience member is. Brilliant. Nice. And pause there. Freeze everyone like we did in the game. Great. Great. So we've done things. We're swimming high and low. And we're, um, we're looking at the puppet. So everyone is looking at the puppet. Very good. And this time, what I'm going to get you to try is think about how you're holding the puppet. So you can put the puppet on your head, for sure. Um, but... How does it look? If I'm holding the puppet, but I'm holding it and I'm covering up the puppet with my hand, does that, does that make us want to look at the puppet if we can't see it? James is shaking his head. James knows what's what, that is right. So be careful to hold the puppet. You can, depending on the puppet you've got, that's it, James, you can try within, holding it with your fingers. So now we can see the puppet and we can't see your hand, yeah? So have a go at holding your puppet maybe just in between your two fingers like this. So we see the puppet and not your hand so much. Yeah, James, that's great. Let's have a look, Jess and Jamil. I have a handle inside my puppet so I can just hold it. And oh my goodness, well that works for sure. That's a really great idea, really creative. When I was, stick I was sticking on the top bit and then I forgot to trim off the handle, so now it's stuck underneath. That looks good, but that works though. All puppets are a bit different. So if that's, that's really good solution for yours, well done. But mine, mine's just like this. So I'm holding it with between my fingers. Yes, James, that's really good. Ori, maybe put your hand down behind the puppet a little bit and then that's it. Yes, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So go for a swim around the room and swim high and swim low and high and low and keep your eyes on the puppet. Brilliant. And now, can you make your puppet swim around the room really fast? 
Can you make your jellyfish swim really fast? And can you make your jellyfish swim really slowly? And can you make your jellyfish swim really fast? And really slowly. Well done, well done. Brilliant. Okay, I'm gonna try one last thing. This is a lot of puppetry learning today. So freeze for me and hold your puppet up high. Oh, well done. Deshaun and Jasmine looks great. You're looking at your puppet and I just want you to breathe. Just breathe with the puppet. So just very simply breathing with the puppet. And as you breathe, your puppet is breathing, even though jellyfish don't really breathe like people, but it's just a way of making the puppet look alive and make it look real. Very good, Bonnie, very good, Ari and Jess and Jamil and James and Deshaun and Jasmine and Elijah, very cool. My real name is Noah. Noah, okay, that's- I'm... But that's, but, but my Nana doesn't know how to change the name. Well, now I know. Thank you, Noah, for telling me. I'm sorry I've been calling you Bonnie all this time, but I didn't, that's all I could see, but now I know. Okay, so we're breathing with our puppet. Try that one more time. Okay. Now we're gonna breathe in, and then your puppet's going to change direction. So breathe in, turn the puppet round to change direction, and then breathe out. And this is a way of making your puppet look alive and moving around. So breathe in, change direction, and breathe out. And add that into your swimming around the room. Breathing in, changing direction, and breathing out. Brilliant, everyone. Well done, well done. Yes, um, is that a question there? Jess and Jamil. I have a huge imaginary bubble. You have a huge imaginary bubble. Amazing. You can you can bring that imaginary bubble to life, just like we did with the game. Brilliant, everyone. So you can swim around the room. You can stop and start. You can go up and down. You can go fast and slow. And you can look at your puppet. So when you're so you're looking at the puppet, so everyone else is looking at the puppet. And you can breathe with the puppet and change direction. And that's a really hard thing to do. That's what grown-ups learn with puppets. So you're doing really well. Cool. So these puppets are looking amazing, everyone. I'm very, very proud of you all. That is, I think we've got, so um, Nelly wants to share a video with you about uh, Joseph, who, uh, whose story inspired this workshop today. And I'm so happy to meet you all. And your puppets all look amazing. And send, I think that uh, Nelly will send you an email address where you can send pictures of your puppets to. Um, you can also send us a picture, well, tag us in a picture of a puppet on um, social media if you're with a grown up. So that's at Todos Teatro. And um, you can tag us in your pictures there. And I will be doing a workshop, a beach clean and beach party in Brighton. So I know that we're all over the place, but if you are in Brighton or nearby, you are welcome to come. Nelly will tell you more information about that. And that's gonna be on the 1st of August. And we're gonna have a beach party and clean up the beach and play lots more games. And you can bring your puppets if you want. So thank you so much. There's information about that event in the chat and I'll leave you with Nelly who will tell you more about that and also share the story of Joseph with you with a video. Yes, so everybody, it was just amazing absolutely brilliant to see all the creatures that you made really awesome and yes we'd love to know your um your uh, if you can send us your pictures to the bnjc that will be also cool and uh, you can say send it to uh, just look at the bnjc website and send it to the uh, to um to the email or to our social media channels, and you can just write my puppet as a subject. And I also sent the link to the Eco Kids B 
big pitch party where we're going to meet on the 1st of August. There's only 15 places left and already, I know the tickets are for free, but you need to book them. So if you're from Brighton and Hove, or if you're from London or somewhere else and you want to come over, then make sure you're grown up, check that link uh, and book tickets. So remember I told you about Joseph? Thumbs up if you remember that inspired me. I found a story of Joseph in PJ Library that uh, we do this event in partnership with. So here it is. Sit tight and listen to the story. Joseph had a little overcoat. It was old and worn. So he made a jacket out of it and went to the fair. Oh, will you look at that jacket? I'm looking already. Joseph had a little jacket. It got old and worn. So he made a vest out of it and danced at his nephew's wedding. Mazel tov! Hey, look, he's doing the Kazatsky! Ooh, Kazatsky, that's not easy. Joseph had a little vest. It got old and worn. Oi, look at that vest. It's like a rag. So he made a scarf out of it and sang in the men's chorus. Tumbala, 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 Joseph had a little scarf. It got old and warm. So he made a necktie out of it and went to visit his married sister in the city. Joseph, so good to see you. Lovely necktie. Joseph had a little necktie. It got old and warm. So he made a handkerchief out of it and drank a glass of hot tea with lemon. Joseph had a little handkerchief. It got old and worn. So he made a button out of it and used it to fasten his suspenders. Look at this! Is that clever? That is clever! What a smarty. He's smart. Joseph had a little button. One day, he lost it. Now he had nothing. So Joseph made a book about it, which shows you can always make something out of nothing. The end. Do you like it? I love this story, and it really shows how we can use things that we already have again and again and again and again and be creative about it, just like you did today. So I want to thank uh, Bethan from Todos Teatros, the BNJC for, and the PJ Library for creating this event and awesome. So um, hope you have a good evening and see you in our next activities. Make sure you sign up for our newsletter because we're doing every first Sunday of the month almost every Sunday, uh, first Sunday of the month, some activity that is free and cool. So um, let's say bye. Maybe you can uh, wave your puppets as well. I want to say goodbye to them as well. You can give them names and everything. Bye, they're bye, so everyone. cool. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye. Bye, bye. 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 bye everybody. Bye, everyone. Deadly Lines, bye. Bye.